What's up travelers? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about free things to do in Madrid, Spain. So I hope you're super excited because you're not going to have to be taking out your wallet and you're not going to have to spend any money at all when you do this activity. So let's go ahead and get started because it's pretty dope. As most of us know, Madrid is a city renowned for its rich history and vibrant culture, but it's also home to many architectural marvels. Among these, the Puerta de Europa Towers, also known as the Kiel Towers or Caixa Towers, stand out with the unique design and impressive structure. The Puerta de Europa Towers are designed by John Berge Architects, and these two sloping office buildings located in Plaza de Castilla are the first inclined skyscrapers in the world. The towers were inaugurated in 1996 and have since become an iconic feature of the Madrid skyline. And here's a fun fact. You could actually see the towers in certain viewpoints of Madrid. Like, for example, from the view of my apartment, I can actually see the towers right here, which is pretty cool. The towers are a must visit for any traveler to the city because of their architectural significance. So inside the building, you're not going to be able to access that for tourism. But if you do get a job there or if you do have a reason to visit the private office inside, each tower has 26 stories, providing a unique perspective on the bustling city below. And now we are going to our next free thing to do in Madrid, which is a statue of Calvo Sotelo, which is kind of debatable and definitely controversial. It was actually... Um, a monument that was supposed to be removed because it had relation with Franco, but it's still up and we're going to pass by it. This is a statue of an old Spanish political leader. So here we have the monument of Calvo Sotelo. As you can see, it's a statue and also a fountain. So yeah, going back to what I just mentioned before, in 2016, actually, El País wrote an article that this monument had to go because it had ties to um, Franco, which was the old dictator in Spain. But it's still here. It's 2024. So not sure what's going on with that, but I'm not very political, so I'm not going to comment more. It's really good to know that Madrid is a very walkable city and there's tons of tourist attractions that you could see on foot. So with that being said, we are going to move on to our next free thing to do in Madrid that has to do with Canal de Isabel II Water Foundation. And as we walk to Canal de Isabel II, let me tell you a little bit about this company. So Canal de Isabel II is the company that manages all phases of the integral water cycle in the community of Madrid. In case you are not aware, Madrid, Spain is a whole region. It's much more than a city. So I would think of it in the sense of if you're American, think of states and Madrid is like a state in Spain. So it's expands much more than just the city and the capital of Madrid. Now the Isabel, those are the people that obviously give us water. So super cool. And basically what you have is the Canal Foundation. And these are the people that basically combine the water and the art together. And this is where you will find our exhibitions for free 99 in Madrid. And now let me tell you a little bit about the Canal Foundation. What's really cool is they offer really amazing resources such as environmental education. They have free art exhibitions on site, some music programs, and much more. To be perfectly honest with you, the foundation hosts a variety of really good quality exhibitions throughout the year. and They are almost always free of charge, so definitely make sure you check this out if you're looking for free things to do in Madrid. After all, it's an excellent opportunity to delve into the cultural and artistic heritage of the region all while enjoying a day out in Madrid. Specifically, when I went to the art exhibition inside of the Canal Foundation this day, I was able to access a exhibition on surrealism and nudity in art, which was super cool. They had really tons of great artists, so definitely make sure you check this out. Make sure you check that out if you're a fellow art lover too. And now for the last free thing to do in Madrid, Spain, you want to definitely enjoy a leisurely walk through the picturesque garden of the Canal de Isabel II. These super tranquil green spaces offer a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city, making the perfect place to unwind after a day of sightseeing with also a super glamorous view, might I add, to the towers. And please, traveler, I urge you to remember that Madrid is a city full of surprises with hidden gems around every corner. So whether you're visiting for a few days or a few weeks, 
be sure to make the most of your time in this beautiful city. And with that being said, if you're looking to plan the most perfect trip to Madrid, Spain, I recommend for you to head to my channel and check out the best things to do in Madrid, Spain playlist. I also have tons of Spain travel tips. If you are not going to be visiting Madrid, but also need help with Spain travel planning, I have tons of Spain travel guides. So make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Oh, 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 oh,